And let's kick off this newscast with the latest coming in from Vladivostok as Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has a packed schedule on his day to visit in Russia. Now, Prime Minister Modi, who is attending the Eastern Economic Forum, met with his Japanese and Malaysian counterparts, Shinzo Abe and Mahathir Mohamed, respectively. He will also be meeting the President of Mongolia shortly. Prime Minister Modi will visit the India Business Pavilion at 9.30 a.m. IST before attending the working lunch of leaders. This will be followed by the plenary session of the 5th Eastern Economic Forum. Bilateral talks aside, the Indian Prime Minister will conclude his Russia visit with lighter engagements. He will be attending a judo tournament at 3 p.m. IST before departing for Delhi at 4.40 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And since we on World is One is closely tracking all the developments in Vladivostok, I am currently joined in by our political editor, Kartike Sharma, who's joining us live from Vladivostok. Let's quickly go across to Kartike. Kartike, what can we expect from the bilateral engagements uh, on day two? We already have been informed that he's had his bilateral with the Malaysian Prime Minister and Japanese PM as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, see, there are three bilaterals, uh, which is uh, Malaysian, uh, Japanese and Mongolian. Once that is over, then there is a plenary session. In that plenary session, you know, a, a lot of views will be exchanged. And it's the plenary session of the leaders. Then you have a plenary working lunch. And once the working lunch is over, which takes place, I, I, it should take, I think, more than three hours, and the session, then he moves out of the uh, area. Now, before that, he would be coming to India Lounge. There is a Russia-India business bridge, which the Prime Minister is going to launch. And then he goes to a stadium to, for a, you know, to watch a judo match. I think he'll be accompanied by a President Putin there. So he, he has a tight schedule. He's going to be impaired somewhere around after 9.30 uh, p.m. today. Uh, but I would say that the importance of this this day or the fifth is that the working lunch is going to have with the plenary leaders because in that lot of uh, a lot of uh, ideas can be exchanged uh, in terms of geopolitics it's not limited to uh, russia alone and a lot of concerns of india vis-a-vis -vis other areas can also come on the table so i think uh, it's going to be pretty interesting day for prime minister modi today Okay, uh, taking into consideration, there will be over 70 business events at the Eastern Economic Forum. And yesterday, a whole host of agreements were signed between India and Russia. What can we expect from the Indian Prime Minister as far as his contribution at the Eastern Economic Forum is concerned? You see, today there will be a commercial list of agreement which will be out. Now, uh, you know, yesterday, uh, the, you know, when I asked these questions to the uh, Foreign sec Secretary in terms of... Uh, uh, the commercial agreements and the nature of them. The Foreign Secretary was categorical and he said, answering my question, that the Prime Minister is very happy that the private MUs have far exceeded the MUs signed by the state, which means that the private participation has surpassed the state-to-state -state participation. And he said that this is a way forward when it comes to Indian and Russian relationship. So I think looking forward, one has to go, one has to see, wait, that as to how many private companies have uh, participated and formed MOUs, made MOUs with their counterpart so which means uh, the sort of thing which we heard before the summit uh Will there be oncology centers uh, with uh, you know with the Russian counterparts, diamond, timber, trading, coal, and all other areas which Russia want India to partner with? Uh, we will have to wait and see that how many companies are actually done so. But the fact that it has been appreciated by the Prime Minister means that the progress has been significant. All right, the progress has been significant, and of course we'll have to wait and watch how this actually shapes up post the forum. Thank you so much, Katike, for bringing us all those latest details. We will keep coming back to you. Now, the Prime Minister and Russian President Vladimir Putin have held bilateral talks. They held them yesterday on, uh, on Wednesday. Now, India and Russia signed 15 MOUs and agreements ranging across various sectors, including defense, trade, investments, energy and connectivity. Prime Minister Modi and Putin also held discussions on outer space and people-to-people -people ties. Speaking to the media after the talks, Prime Minister Modi said that India and Russia realize the importance of a multipolar world. भारत एक ऐसा अफगानिस्तान देखना चाहता है जो स्वतंत्र सुरक्षित अखंड शांत और लोकतांत्रिक हो हम दोनों ही किसी भी देश के आंतरिक मामलों में बाहरी दखल के खिलाफ है 
Prime Minister Modi said that a proposal has been made to have a full-fledged maritime route that serves a link between Chennai and Vladivostok. He also spoke about increasing cooperation in the nuclear sector. Harping on the people-to-people -people contact between the two countries, Prime Minister recalled how the ties between the two countries date back two decades. Prime Minister Modi spoke about his visit to Russia in the year 2001. <laughs> और मैं अटल जी के साथ उस समय के हमारे प्रधानमंत्री गुजरात के मुख्यमंत्री के तौर पर भारत के डेलीगेशन में आया था राष्ट्रपति पुतिन की और मेरी राजनीतिक सहयात्रा के दौरान दोनों देशों की दोस्ती और सहयोग का सफर तेजी से आगे बढ़ा है इस दौरान हमारी स्पेशल एंड प्रिविलेज स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप ना सिर्फ हमारे देशों के स्ट्रेटजिक हितों को काम आई है बल्कि इसे हमने लोगों के विकास और उनके सीधे फायदे से जोड़ा है राष्ट्रपति पुतिन और मैं इस रिलेशनशिप को विश्वास और भागीदारी के जरिए सहयोग की नई ऊंचाइयों तक ले गए हैं this was the 20th annual bilateral meet between India and Russia. This visit is also significant as this is the third time the two leaders are meeting this year. They met last in the month of June on the sidelines of the SCO summit in Bishkek and the G20 summit in June. Ahead of the bilateral talks, the two leaders visited the Zvezda shipping, shipbuilding complex.